Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today marks the first day of beginning to redo my bedroom. I still live at home with my parents purely because I'm actually trying to save to buy a flat or a house and on my salary I can't afford to do that while also paying rent. So I'm living at home and I am in the bedroom which I've always had and the bedroom is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just it's my childhood bedroom and it looks like my childhood bedroom. So I'm basically, as I've grown up, I'm kind of wanting my room to grow up a bit. So this morning we were at Ikea, picked up a few pieces. We have just carried them up two flights of stairs, hence the shine. But I'm really excited to get them built and kind of make a start. There's a few other pieces that I still need to get, which I'll probably either get next month or the month after, just depending. So yeah, I thought I would just show you my room as it is now and then at the end I'll be able to show you what my room looks like with all the other improvements. So as you walk in my room, I've got this big wardrobe here and if you look up here, this is a Playmobil doll's house which I loved when I was younger. And then it's just a wardrobe over to my single bed, desk area, dressing table which is my favourite thing about this room clothes and then shelves so my room is actually quite a good size it is quite big so I'll hopefully be getting a double bed maybe in a couple of months which I, I'm hoping it won't make my room feel a lot smaller it'll fit in fine that's the other main thing so I've now got three big boxes from Ikea that I need to make up I'll definitely do one today I might do the other one tomorrow just depending on time but I am so excited. <laughs> First thing that I need to do though is get changed as I don't think skinny jeans and this top will be suitable. So I definitely need to get some cozier clothes on. <sighs> Baggy top, joggers, so much better. Let's do this. Rule number one of flat pack, always lay everything out so you know you have everything. Rule number two, instructions. I'm not too proud. Okay. So. The one tool I need for making this desk is a screwdriver. Just gone um, to get one and the only one I could find is like that. Why on earth would you need a screwdriver to be that long? I don't get it. Never have I ever been using a screwdriver and thought, oh, do you know what? I wish it was like unnecessarily long. But anyway, it's the only one I can find. So I'm going to have to make it work. This is a very low desk. Annoyingly in Ikea they didn't actually have this one made up so I've not seen what it looks like I just saw it on the website. So I'm a bit nervous at how low down it's going to be. That's very low. So I have now finished making the desk. My camera ran out of battery halfway through which is why you've just gone for me unpacking it to all of a sudden made. But it really wasn't that interesting. <laughs> it was actually really simple to put together so you missed nothing. So this is it. Now at the end of my desk. I actually really like how it's looked. I like how simple it is and I like how it's plain white but there's just that little detail on the leg so I'm really pleased with that. It's slightly annoying that's a bit wider than my bed because it just doesn't look that good at the moment but as I mentioned I will be getting a new bed and completely rearranging everything so I think that'll be fine. I can 
live with this for a couple of months, no problem. Now I just have the issue of putting everything away. As you can see with my old desk, this is it, there was another shelf here but it's broken off. So uh, there was a shelf here, there was a shelf here that's broken off, shelf here, all these and I had stuff in here. And then I've gone to this where there's no shelves at all. So I've got this stuff to find a home for and then all with this and then there's even more stuff down here which I just couldn't find a home for. I mean, it's such rubbish that I have. So I think most of it will actually just get binned but it's just so hard finding a home for like certain things you have to keep and oh, I really don't know where to put it. Because the desk is so simple, I want to keep it quite clear because I think it will just look better that way. Oh, I literally don't know where I'm going to put everything. I need to think of something before I go to bed because at the moment I can't sleep on that. Another issue about all this mess is I just got a text message. I heard my phone go off but I've got no idea where my phone is at all. It's not my pocket. I mean I must have put it down somewhere and then I just feel like I've dumped Oh my god, I've just found it. Yes! Oh, It has been a few weeks now um, since I've done anything bedroom wise. So the stage that I am at, very excitingly, yesterday I ordered the bed and the mattress. So that is being delivered tomorrow. And I feel once that's arrived, I can really just get to it and get everything organised and kind of where I want it. So I've got a new project to build. Um, this is the new bedside table, as you can see the picture. Um, the stage that we're at, so I've got these two drawers here that belong in new shelving here. And there's my underbed boxes. But basically that shelving thing is gonna go across this wall. But at the moment my bed's there and I can't move that bed until the new bed's arrived because I'm getting rid of this shelf and then something else is going there. So basically I just need the bed to arrive. So that's tomorrow sometime during the day. They've not really said when. Um, so for now I'm just gonna build the bedside table and then we're almost there. complicated thing I've built so far. I do not understand this. I mean, what? Hi everyone, so the bed has finally arrived, which is so exciting. Um, so, so far I've managed to bring the new mattress up the stairs and kind of get it laid out because it was rolled up and I think you need to leave it. So it kind of gets back into the right shape, I don't know, who knows, um, but I thought it's best to do that first thing. So the delivery came about 10 to 9 this morning, um, which was really good, first thing. So I got the mattress up maybe about half nine, and it's now half ten, so it's been there for an hour and it's already looking pretty good I would say. So 
So now it's the start of all the moving. One bad thing is last Sunday, so a week ago yesterday, it's now Monday, I did my back in walking, as you do, um, and then because of that, my bad hips started playing up. So throughout the week, I've had a few twinges. Just carrying that mattress up the stairs now, my back is already feeling a bit tender and a bit like it could go. So I'm gonna have to be so careful, but it's so annoying because I'm home alone, so I'm on my own doing all the moving. And so I just really need to be careful. So first step, I've kind of cleared this bed. I think if I start by getting that out, then I can kind of start building the new bed in here. My plan is to carry things up the stairs one bit at a time, rather than bring up the whole box, because I don't think I'd be able to manage that. But, oh yeah, so the finished bedside table, which obviously I've not sorted it, it's just got a whole lot of junk on it just now, but that's what it looks like. I did have to get my mum to help last night, because it was just IKEA instructions, just don't always match up, so it's hard to tell sometimes what pictures you should ignore and what you shouldn't ignore. So we ignored one picture last night and it seems to have worked. Um, yep, yeah, just doing its job fine. So let's make a bed. Also, just a quick note, this is going to be a makeup free day for me as I feel it's gonna get a bit hot and sweaty at times, so I just don't see the point. So just get used to this. It's shiny at the moment because I've just moisturised. Please note, <laughs> this isn't sweat already. This is, oh wow, it's really shiny. I look like a mannequin. Goodness me. I hope that soaks in soon. Progress has been made. I have now taken out the bed. I've hoovered. Look, you can see how long that bed's been there for. Completely ruined the carpet. But I have moved it. Fun fact, that is the only bed I've ever had. As soon as I came out the cot, that was the bed I went into. I don't know how old I was, like three. I don't know what age you leave your cot. Yeah, and it used to be a bunk bed that I shared with my sister and it comes apart. So um, considering I've had it for the odd 23 years now, I think it's the right time I got a new one. So I've had a slight problem though, in the way that I can't get it out, out my room and then into this room here, because I've got, the drawers here, so I can't put it further down to any of those rooms. And it just won't fit around this corner. So, I mean, I've got a little bit that I can squeeze through so I can get in and out. And I think I'm now just gonna have to wait until my mum gets home from work to help me move that, which is a bit annoying. But I think I've got enough room now that I can make up the double bed and then get that done. And then after that, the next task is going to be taking down this shelf. It is attached to the wall so I'm gonna have to undo that and then find a home for all the bits and bobs in it and then just have it lying on my floor because it's that stuff's going into underbed storage I think along with pretty much all of this so oh, we'll see we'll see. Just me or does this not seem like I've got enough bits to make a whole double bed? Hmm. My parents did also get a new bed delivered. So maybe I've just missed some bits thinking out there for their bed. Oh well, I'll start building it and see how far I get. doing 
it is now 10 minutes to 2. Um, progress has been good. Uh, the bed's done. That's kind of from the back. This is the only <laughs> the only clean corner of my bedroom at the moment, hence why I'm stuck here. So yeah, the bed was actually okay to put together. I only managed to get one small injury, which is when I dropped this side plank on my foot from quite a height. Yeah, that was sore. So basically, I've tried to move everything in a sensible place because I think when my mum gets back, the first thing I need to move is this wardrobe and it's going pretty much where I'm standing and then the bed and then the white drawers can come and slide in here and then we can put the bed in the place. So I think I've done as much as I can for now. Everything looks such a mess. It's stressing me out quite a bit. I'll show you what I've done. So I've been able to move my desk is under all that rubbish there. Used to be in this corner, so I've shimmied that across. This was on that side, so I've put it over there. That is obviously the new bedside table. I need to wait for the bed to be in place. Pull drawers out from under here to make this easier to move. The bed is still halfway through my door. And I've literally, I've got stuff sat down here and a lot of stuff sat down here. Oh, there's just so much stuff, honestly. But yes, I'm now being able to kind of picture how it will look. And I think it's gonna be really nice. Hi everyone. So from that last clip, I have fast forwarded about six months or so. Basically, well, life just happened. You know, we had Christmas, which was busy. And then just other stuff that made me busy. So I'm still kind of sorting out my room, but I've basically, I've got it in a state that I can live with because I've got some very exciting news that I've actually bought a flat. It's a new build, so it's actually still being built at the moment. So I won't move in for a couple more months, but it's just kind of meant that I've put my room on hold because I know I'll be moving anyway. So what's the point in sorting it out, kind of? However, I'll show you the finished things that I've built. My room is still a tip, so just bear with it. Also, you'll see, see my bed sheets there. Pillows don't match the cover because our kitchen in my family house is being redone and we've had no washing machine for three weeks. I've had to do so many emergency pant runs, it's been unreal. So that's also why I've got Christmas bedding that doesn't match the pillowcases. Also why I've got a bin bag full of dirty clothes because this is my usual washing bag which I realise does look like it's Doc Cottons from EastEnders and the laundrette but I did get it from my grandparents so maybe that's why and, and yeah so I've got the bin bag because I've just got so much washing to do I have very few clothes that are clean I even last week went to my friend's house for her son's birthday who's my godson and I took clothes with me to do a wash at her house she did offer, I wasn't being cheeky so yeah that is why that's like that so I'll just show you all the new items. Um, so I'll start with this lampshade, which was Ikea. And it's got a wee rose gold inside. And then this is the bedside table. That took me a while to build. Very complicated because it's got the slow, so it doesn't slam shut. Beautiful. This is the bed in all its glory with Christmas theme, well, wintry at least, bed sheets on it which is just bizarre. And then this is the drawers that I built. These are so heavy. Even pulling them in my bedroom, we broke bits of it off because we literally couldn't lift it, so we were dragging uh, and it got caught and stuff. Anyway, I, I had that anyway. Oh, look, you've caught me. I, I've worn a jumper, so I look like I'm dressed today and like a normal human being. But really, I've got my baggy cottons on. Good. Great, glad you caught that. This is pretty much the same, oh, yep. Yeah. Tidy bottoms again there. I think that's the same as before. And then this is the desk. Oh, I love this. This is adorable. And then I spray painted this rose gold, this lamp I got, I think from the range. It was an absolute bargain. And this print I got from, um, I absolutely love this print. It's one of my favorite sayings. And I got it from, um, one of my friend's old flatmates does it on Etsy. I'll leave her link below. She does tons of different other quotes, all looking kind of like this. 
um, so I really like that. I got these little shelf things from Ikea that kind of match this table. Oh, and then down here, all this is new stuff for the flat. And then so is this, and then under my bed as well. I just have so much new stuff. I've even, I've had to put stuff in my sister's old bedroom because there's just so much. There's so much to buy for a new flat when you're completely furnishing it and it's extremely expensive. But anyway, I think I'll be doing like a separate video about kind of buying the flat and the whole process and moving and then decorating and furnishing and all that stuff. I also, I really want to do a home haul because I've got so much stuff for the new flat. A lot of it's rose gold and I love it and all of it is very affordable because I have a very small budget. So yeah, I really just wanted to kind of wrap up this video because like I say, it's now been like six months, seven months since I started filming it, which is a little bit embarrassing. But anyway, if you made it this long, because it's also really long, I've started editing it and yeah. Even though I've got most of it out, it's crazy long. Um, so if you have made it this long, well done. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.